Hey, I'm Tamara Krinsky, and we are here live at the annual IDA Documentary Award Show. It's a night when the documentary community comes together to celebrate the best in nonfiction filmmaking. I'm Sasha Javazi. I'm director of a film called Anvil, the story of Anvil. Which is already a winner here tonight. Uh, yeah, we won the Music Award. And you're up for Best Feature. Up for Best Feature. No chance of winning, but we're happy to be here. <laughs> I don't know. I wouldn't count on that oh, quite yet. Oh, uh, yeah. No, it's, yeah, it's kind of weird and wonderful for us to be here. So we weren't really expecting to be anywhere. So this is kind of cool to be here. Well, this is a film that you didn't have a lot of expectations for, and it's gone on an incredible journey. Tell me a little bit about that. Well, I mean, you know, when we debuted it at Sundance, no one bought the film, so it was kind of tough for a year and a half, and, and we just screened it the hell out of it. Went to every film festival in the world, and we just didn't give up, and it's just been amazing what's happening. I think probably the best thing that's happened is seeing as a result of the film, the band Anvil that it's about, their whole career has revived. So. I saw them play to 55,000 people at Giant Stadium opening for ACDC and um, that was one of the best moments to see the real world effect of a movie like this. It's, it's literally changed theirs and my life so it's amazing. It's kind of stand back and watch the miracle unfold. It's, it's, it's been extraordinary. And you go back a long way with Robin Lips. Can you tell me a little bit about your beginnings and how you ended up reuniting with them? Well when I was 15 I was a huge fan and I met them in London and ran backstage and introduced myself as England's number one Anvil fan and they said hey would you show us around so I showed them around London then they invited me out on tour and I actually was a drum roadie for Rob Reiner the drummer in Anvil that's his real name Rob Reiner uh, I was this drum roadie on three tours in the 80s and we never stayed in touch but 20 years after I last seen them I got back in touch to discover the band had never stopped and I thought how crazy and wonderful and I made this movie about them and here we are so and you believed in them so much that you put your own money into this film, right? I did, actually. I, I, I would never recommend anyone do I think it's the cardinal rule of the movie business. Never use your own money. But in this case, I just felt so strongly about the film and that if it was done right and it came out right, that many people will be touched. So it's so gratifying to have, you know, the band and us, we've all received letters from artists all over the world. I mean, not just heavy metal musicians, but musicians and painters and poets and sculptors who have derived some great inspiration from this because it's really about the artistic struggle about not giving up on what you believe in and, and what you're passionate about and I think that struck a much bigger chord though than I thought it would initially but it's so wonderful to see you know it's just you know very rarely in life are you part of something magical but this movie feels like that. I think we won. We won everything. You, Good night. Wait, wait, wait. Come back here. What, what? You told me earlier. Now look at the camera. What, what? You told me earlier you didn't think there was any way you were going to win. Well, I didn't think there was any way we could win. What was going through your mind when you heard your name called? I mean, I thought there'd been a mistake. I literally thought I was sort of gone into a parallel dream universe. I mean, I couldn't believe it. I felt we'd already been acknowledged for music film, and I thought it was impossible that anything else would happen. So. Well, they're turning out the lights. Turning out the lights. My God, it's exciting. <laughs> Well, we laughed, we cried, it has been a great night here at the annual IDA Documentary Awards, and now it is time to go home. But just because it's the end of the night here doesn't mean that you can't catch a great documentary at a theater near you, on your TV screen, or even on the internet. Now, if you need a few suggestions of what to watch, check out IDA's website at www.documentary.org. I'm Tamara Krinsky. Have a great night. <laughs>